Yeah. Y'all thought Selena was the whitest Mexican here. No. That's me. I'm half white, you know, so I can still high five cops and vote Republican. So we're good. We're good. Oh, I'm sorry I look like a giant French mime. Uh, I haven't worn this shirt in a while. Seemed like a good time. Anyway, holiday season, guys. It's, yeah, it's not that exciting. Uh, my favorite holiday already passed. My favorite holiday is Halloween. Halloween's cool. It's a good time, you know, because women dress like prostitutes. That's awesome. Uh, it sucks, though, because I still have to pay for sex. So it's really not... Kind of a downside, kind of a downside. I, uh, I got a Ouija board for the first time. Played with that shit. So people warned me about it. They're like, hey, don't ask any questions you don't want to know the answer to. And they were right, because I, I messed with that thing, and I found out my dad's gay. Uh, yeah, I still don't know how to tell him. I don't know how to, how do you get your dad out of the closet? That's the real question. Uh, just been trying to show him pornos, you know? Invite him out to the gay club. So now my dad just thinks I'm gay, and it's just... Just a really awkward breakfast. Um, <laughs> that's a joke, I don't know my dad. Um, <laughs> He might be gay, though. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's whatever. It's whatever. Uh, I like Halloween, though, because of, of the scary movies. I love horror movies. Um, Halloween, that remake just came out. Super great movie. I don't know if you guys saw it. But I realized... Yeah, thank you, sir. I realized Michael Myers from Halloween and Forrest Gump are the exact same character. They really are. They're both terrible at speaking. Uh, they're both unreasonably fast. <laughs> no reason at all. And they both chase the same bitch for 40 years until she dies of AIDS. Um, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Uh, Halloween's cool, man. This Halloween was a lot of fun. Actually, this Halloween, I uh, dressed up as Brett Kavanaugh, the Supreme Court Justice. Yeah, so that way, when I get drunk and black out at the party and touch myself, I just act like it never happened, you know? I guess... That wasn't a thing, that wasn't a thing. That's the first time that's ever landed. I appreciate y'all, y'all are awesome. Uh, <laughs> no, last year, last year was better though, because last year I dressed up as a ghost, right? And I was super excited. I, I ended up at this party, it was an all ghost party. I was like, what are the odds, this is amazing. Uh, I ended up being a clan rally. Yeah, yeah. So I, didn't know, I didn't know at first, I was like, man, these ghosts really hate Obama, this is weird. Uh, and I was gonna leave like as soon as I found out. As soon as I found out, I was gonna get out of there. But they had some really good weed. Like you could, you could barely taste the racism. I don't know if you guys have heard it. KK Kush, KK Kush. It's really makes you feel better than everyone else. It's really very supreme, very elite. Uh, it's good stuff. But I was sitting and talking with the guys, and it kind of brought up some things in my life. Like, maybe I've stereotyped people too much. Like, you know, like I've never trusted Asians driving cars, you know? And I just realized maybe I'm a little racist, you know? Because I thought about it. And, you know, thanks to cell phones, texting and driving, I think we all kind of drive like Asians now, you know? Like, Steve Jobs really leveled that playing field. And everyone talks about how dangerous texting and driving is. Like, it's illegal, it's the worst thing you can do. But I disagree. I think the worst thing you can do is, uh you know, get roadhead while driving. I think that's probably way worse, you know? Because when you're texting and driving, you're still driving, you know, someone's still driving the car. You know what I mean? Like, you still want to make it to your destination. When you're getting roadhead, you don't give a fuck about anyone's life. You don't. You smile as you flip your car. It's... I miss my Impala. My girlfriend is pretty cool too, but those are replaceable. I mean, cars, you don't have to pay for girlfriends. Um, <laughs> oh, did y'all have a good Thanksgiving? One guy, everyone else is depressed. Um, my Thanksgiving was great. Food was amazing. The food was so good, my dad showed up. I was like, whoa, it's been 20 years. What's up, dude? No, I'm just kidding, he didn't show up. He was actually on his way, but his caravan got stopped at the border, so. Yeah. He was, he was pretty choked up about it. Uh, not from missing Thanksgiving, mostly from the tear gas. But, I mean, either way, it was, it was good. That was good stuff. Oh man, I almost died recently. 
pretty exciting. I went hiking. Yeah. Told my friends about it. I told my friends the story. And they're like, uh, hiking's for white people. Like, I mean, yeah, but white people have Taco Bell, so I think brown people can hike. I think we can make that trade, right? That makes sense. But no, I get it. Like, you're not, Mexicans don't call it hiking. They call it immigration. You know, that's <laughs> slight difference. Like, Dora the Explorer. That's, that's a real thing. Um, but no, I went to Paladero Canyon. I fell like 30 yards down this hill. Like, just this rocky hill. Just fell face first. I cut up my arm. You can't really see it anymore. It's healing up nice. But like after it happened, I just had cuts all over my arm. Like I looked like a cutter with Parkinson's. Like it was pretty bad. It's pretty graphic. Um, <laughs> but uh, it was a struggle. It was a struggle. Like I was, and I don't know if you guys have had a near death experience or whether you're religious or not. But uh, you start talking to God pretty quick, you know. Like as I'm falling down the hill, I'm just like, Hey Lord, uh, sorry about watching porn before breakfast. That's a nighttime activity. I shouldn't have done that. You're right. Uh, my bad. My bad. And it's kind of funny, you know, I would have recorded myself falling if I wasn't just falling face first and eating rocks the whole time. And I was rolling, so I had rocks going up my ass as well. Like, I got raped by Powder Oak Canyon. I got double penetrated by Powder Oak Canyon. I got DP to PDC, really, is what... I got DP to PDC, and all I got was this t-shirt. That'd be a great... Great t-shirt idea, if you guys are interested. Uh, I'll make those. <laughs> now, I was thinking about it. I don't know if you Lubbock guys are familiar with uh, Paladero Canyon, but it's kind of like all we're known for in this town, you know, except for like Cadillacs. But uh, that's all we're really known for. It's just the big asshole, you know? It's the big we're like We're just the big asshole of Texas. That's really all we're known for. That's all we got, you know? People come here to give up on their lives. That's really... It's really what happened. They're just like, I think people were migrating, right? And they're like, oh, let's stop here. Why? There's no water or trees. Oh, it'll be fine. We'll build some Dairy Queens and like a billion churches. It'll be cool. It'll be a great time. We do. We have the most churches. You notice that? We also have the most meth. Like if you're, if you're in Amarillo, you're either at church or you're on meth. Sometimes both. That's why we call them Methodists. Praise God. Um, yeah. See y'all Sunday. Um, <laughs> it seems like every time a business goes under, though, like it becomes a church. It's crazy. Like, oh, what happened to that to that old strip club? Oh, that's the topless church of Latter Day Saints. Oh, maybe I misjudged the Mormons. That sounds pretty cool. I might check that out. Oh, live new Jehovah. Okay, um, you guys. Uh, you guys remember Midnight Rodeo? Yeah. Worst club of all time, right? It's becoming a church now. That's, that's insane. That's insanity. Everybody remembers that place, you know? Like, everyone got in a fight there. Everyone got conceived there. Like, it's, it's crazy. There's generations of nastiness. Uh, <laughs> it's so... It's insane. I can't wait to go back. I can't wait to check it out, you know? Just walk in as it's a church, just be like, oh, okay, I got my tooth knocked out over here. Oh shit, there it is, that's cool. I used to do cocaine off this toilet. You guys want a bump? No? Okay, just trying to be a good Christian, my bad. Um, but no, it's exciting, it's exciting. Communion's gonna be real cool, because instead of like passing around tiny things of wine, they're just gonna pass out tequila shots. Just be like, Oh, what is that, Jose Cuervo? No, it's Jesus Cristo. Wash, wash it down with the Bloody Mary. You're fantastic, man. Tequila in your stomach, Jesus in your heart. Two birds, one stone. That's how, that's how Sunday should be. Um, yeah, fuck that joke, I agree. Um, <laughs> I don't really understand Amber Alerts. I get a lot of Amber Alerts on my phone. And it just kind of makes me wonder, like, who is this Amber chick that keeps getting kidnapped and then getting away like three times a month. Like, come on, Amber. Stop getting in the van. They don't have candy. I'm kidding, guys. Obviously, it's not the same girl every time. Obviously. But, like, what are the odds they're all named Amber? That's pretty crazy, right? Weird coincidence. That's, that's strange. It's strange. Like, if your name's Amber, change your name. Okay? Like, don't name your daughter Amber. She will get kidnapped. I'm trying to help y'all out. We're trying, I'm trying to work together on this. We can... We can stop this. We can stop this. I was actually with, with a group of friends, right? And we were watching TV. 
and we all get the Amber Alerts on our phone. So I stand up, I'm like, all right, let's go, let's find her. My, my friend turns to me and she's like, uh, this is serious, don't be a dick. And I was like, all right, I guess we'll just keep watching Netflix then. And you know what we were watching? The ironic part, we were watching the movie Taken. You know, the movie Taken, where Liam Neeson goes across the ocean to save his daughter, who just got kidnapped? What a dick, right? What an asshole. Should have just sat at home and hoped for the best. It's crazy, it's crazy. Oh man. And what do they expect us to do? Like, they send these alerts to our phone, it's like 2001 Nissan Sentra. Just, to, just supposed to run outside and be like, hey bro, what year's that Nissan? Is Amber in there? Amber, can you hear me? I got the alert once and it was like 2013 Chevy Impala, silver. And I was like, oh shit, I drive a 2013 Chevy Impala. Is there a bitch in my trunk? I gotta stop smoking weed. Blackout and kidnapping unknown bitches, that's not, that's not good. The ironic part is women, have y'all done the escape rooms? You know the escape rooms people do for fun? Yeah, women love escape rooms. But not, when I lock a girl in my trunk, suddenly I'm the weirdo, you know? That's, that's a double standard. My escape room's free. It's not fair. Um, all right, I'm gonna close it out with one more joke. I don't know if you guys saw this recently, Alabama just passed a law banning abortion. Yeah, and I'm pro-life in most circumstances. But if you think about it, if there's one state that kind of needs abortion, isn't it Alabama? Yes. Like, do we, yes. do we really need more of Alabama? I don't think so, I don't think so. That's trouble for everybody. Some dad's gonna be like, oh, gotta raise another nephew, son, this is bullshit. Oh, it's just, we can't have Alabama getting more retarded. We just can't afford it, we just really, and don't get soft when you use the word retarded, you know? Sometimes retarded is the best word to use, you know? Sometimes it's the best filler. Like, we shouldn't get rid of that word, you know, for special circumstances. Like, how else would you describe Donald Trump's Twitter account, you know? Like, if you had one word to describe his Twitter account, you'd be like, ah, oh, retarded. That's probably, probably, probably the best thing I can come up with. Probably the best thing. I'm kidding, guys. I, uh, honestly, Donald Trump's super entertaining. I think he should be a stand-up comedian, you know? I think it's gonna be a fun eight more years in prison. Um, no, it's gonna be it's gonna be super it's gonna be super fun. And I kind of wish that more presidents tweeted like Donald Trump did. You know, like I kind of I, I was thinking about it the other day. Like, what if more presidents were as crazy as Donald Trump? Like, what if they all had access to Twitter and they're all just wild? So these are some tweets I came up with of former presidents. <sighs> I'm 90% sure this house is haunted by white people. Barack Obama. <laughs> Oh shit, that 9-11 thing was today? <laughs> LOL, my bad, George W. Bush. Uh, that's what I love about interns. I get older, they stay the same age. Bill Clinton. Good morning, Dallas. Pulling up to the scene with my sibling missing. John F. Kennedy. Uh, thank you. I don't know, I just wanna be like my older brother. Robert F. Kennedy. Uh, that joke's funny. He wasn't president, but he got shot. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm just not really into white women anymore. Thomas Jefferson. Uh, here's my, here's my all-time favorite. Wow, this place sucks. Somebody please blow my brains out. Abraham Lincoln. Retweeted by John Wilkes Booth. That's my time. Guys, you've been a great audience. Thank you very much.